Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. As promised, here is the bottle of the limited edition Old Tom with winter spices. I've decided to jazz things up a little bit with this review. Um, I've decided to compare it with a bottle of the original Old Tom, um, which I absolutely love, uh, one of my favourite beers of all time. So we're going to get two, two of the beers in two different glasses and see exactly what we got. So first off, um, I'd like your information on this because I've searched on the internet. I can't find an ABV for this beer. Although I did get an inkling, an idea that it was 4.7% ABV. I think it's 4.7% ABV. So be interested on your thoughts in the comments box if you would be able to let me know. Wow. That smells nice. That does smell nice. We got a nice little old Tom glass. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour the two beers out first. I'm wondering if this glass is, I imagine it is. Yeah, look at that. It's enough. It's perfect. Perfect size glass for the perfect size, well, for, for the bottle. There you go. Okay, so next up, we won't get the aromas yet. I won't tell you the aromas. This is 8.5% ABV. And it's been a while since I've had this, so I'm looking forward to um, reintroducing myself with the old Tom. I, I really, really do like this beer. Look at the cap. Picture of the cat. And this is being described as voted world's best ale at the World Beer Awards 2009. Okay. This, I haven't got another old time glass, but we've got a Robinson's glass, which is the company, the same company. So, I've got a good rigorous pour going on with this one. To look at the two beers, this is the spice. This one looks, you can see the Robinson's glass, it looks slightly slightly lighter in colour. It is slightly lighter in colour and it's held its head magnificently well. So let's get the nose on the on the spice. For me it smells quite sweet more than more than swat, spicy. There's definite hints of cinnamon and cloves and a nice caramel background so Cheers. Oh. Now, can I be honest with you here? I was very apprehensive about trying this. That's why, well, I kind of poured the other one up as a backup because I don't generally like beer with spices. Tried a beer from St. Austell, they're clouded yellow. Really couldn't do it. Another one from, from Wales. Can't remember the company, but couldn't do it. Couldn't do that the spices were just very, very powerful. But these are subtle. You've still got that good beery taste. Wow, that is nice. You get the it's definite. There's hints of uh, I think there's hints of licorice, cloves, uh, cinnamon, and a nice that classic bittersweet taste you get from a beer. Well done, Robinsons, for getting me to enjoy my first spiced ale. Cheers. Now then, moving on to one of my all-time favourites. This is Old Tom Original. 
this for me is an absolutely cracking, cracking beer. It's, I've got another bottle here, I'm probably going to save that for Christmas, out of the dinner table. But let's get the aroma on this one and see how different it is. This one's 8.5% ABV. And wow, this is just, just takes me right back to when I first tried this. Super, super fruity. Zingy, it's got that beautiful zinginess, zinginess I like to say about a beer. So, still got his head for an 8.5% beer. Let's dig in. Cheers. Wow, that is superb. Superb. It's got a, it's got a vintage quality about it. The, the moment it touches your lips, the moment you're breathing in at the same time. Because um, it's very important um, when you're drinking a beer, as soon as your mouth kind of touches the, the liquid, breathe in at the same time. Take it all in. Take it all in. And wow. The 8.5% is... It's just been crafted so well. <coughs> it's quite difficult to put a finger on how they do it, how they manage to make such a good beer. The roasted malts are very nice. We've got that good. It's, it's like an alcohol zinginess, it, it kind of, it's lively on your tongue, it's bouncing around all over. And then to finish you've got that be wonderful, beautiful, warming feeling that goes all the way down. It's a definite cracking, cracking winter warmer. Okay. Oh, there's also toffee, hints of caramel, hints of coffee, toffee, it's just the roasted, the roasted malts that have been superbly, superbly placed into this beer. Right, uh, there's no information on the back of this bottle, so I'm going to read out, uh, that's a cracking beer, but I'm going to read out the the original old Tom because boy am I glad to, to be reviewing this again. Old Tom is almost as old as the brewer itself. It was in, entered into the head brewer's handwritten notebook in 1899. Charmingly illustrated with a cat's face. It is a dark and warming superior strong ale with aromas of dark fruit and a palate booming with ripe malt and hop followed by a deep poor wine finish. That's, that's the vintageness I'm talking about. <laughs> Truly is. The mouthfeel on this beer is, is, is just... If you haven't tried it and you're wondering what I'm raving about, just go out and try it. Go out and buy a bottle. Over the years, Old Tom has won some of the industry's most prestigious brewing awards and is now recognised as one of the most famous strong ales brewed in England. Drink with caution! Exclamation mark. But most of all, enjoy. www.frederickrobinson.com It's got that little line in the middle. I really want this to focus so I can show you. Right www.fredericklittlelinerobinson.com I think it's a hyphen. Right, time for a rating. Old Tom Spice, for me. It's very nice. Going back to it, it's almost like a, it's got that little bit of dandelion and burdock about it. But with alcohol. It's a good beer. For that, 
I'll give an 8, a solid 8. Well done to Red Frederick Robinson, it's the first beer with spices I've liked. Secondly, one of my old favourites, this, Old Tom. For me, it's superb. It's absolutely superb. It gets, it, it just fills me with excitement. Stone the Crows, there's not many beers out there that get me as excited as I am today about a beer. I think you all know what I'm going to give this beer. It's a clear 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from the Real Ale Guide. There's not an ounce wrong with that beer in my eyes. Comment. Put a comment in the, in the YouTube comment box. Good or bad, I'll always answer. If you agree with me, great. If you disagree with me, great. It's your own thoughts. But please, bend over backwards to try and get a bottle of this Old Tom Original Strong Ale. It's a fantastic, fantastic beer. Email realaleguide at googlemail.com Facebook is www.facebook.com forward slash realalecraftbeer and Twitter is twitter.com forward slash today. Thanks for watching another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Tune in for the next edition and cheers.